and welcome to another episode of Feature from the Black Lagoon. I'm your host, Big Al Holbrook. Today, I'm going to do things a little bit different, and I'm not going to do an in-depth movie review. Instead, I'm going to give you guys a list of my top 10 favorite werewolf movies of all time. But please, keep in mind that these are just my opinions. Just because I put one movie ahead of another in this list doesn't necessarily mean that it's a greater movie. It's just my opinion and what I prefer to watch. So sit back and enjoy. The family curse turns high school student Scott Howard into a werewolf. Scott, played by Michael J. Fox, portrays a family-friendly werewolf. No body count here. Michael J. Fox has been vocal about his utter hatred for this movie. Maybe you should have Doc take him back in time and then pass on this one. Jeez Louise. Oh, and he plays basketball too. While this movie isn't exclusively about werewolves, I think the one they have in it is actually pretty good. The creature effects were done by Stan the Man Winston of Jurassic Park fame. Plus, we get to find out some very important information about werewolf lore. Wolfman's got an art. Come on! Being bitten by a wolf he hit with his car, Will Randall's inner animal is unleashed. What's scarier than a werewolf? How about a werewolf played by Jack fucking Nicholson? I've got about a thousand dollars in my wallet. How much would you like to borrow? Five dollars? Ten? Cut the bullshit and give me the wallet. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there's a badass wolf on wolf fight. of the werewolf is Hammer Film Productions' take on the classic werewolf tale. Oliver Reed plays Leon, an orphan child cursed with lycanthropy from birth. Think Oliver Twist with more blood and less porridge. <laughs> While I like the story, the werewolf design isn't my favorite. Reminds me of that kid from Where the Wild Things Are. I know a lot of people have written this movie off as a steaming pile of shit, but hear me out. Yeah, the theatrical version is kind of shitty. However, the unrated version is a damn good movie. If you haven't seen it in a while, I urge you to give the unrated version a chance. It closes up a couple plot holes and adds a lot more gore. It's pretty awesome. While the movie relies too heavily on CGI at times, it always wins me back with Rick Baker's Oscar-winning wolf makeup. The Howling is a truly unique werewolf movie. This is partly because of the practical effects achieved by Rob Bottin. Bottin was the assistant of special effects master Rick Baker. Huh, that name keeps coming up. Weird. Anyway, Baker was originally slated to complete the film's effects, but he was busy completing some other werewolf film. So, Bottin took over the effects work and did one hell of a job if you ask me. The Howling is one of the first werewolf movies I remember watching where there was more than one werewolf. I mean, there's a whole pack of these damn things. Yeah, and they kind of look like weird rabbits, too. Huh. Silver Bullet. 
This movie is like a cold beer on a hot day. Yeah, the acting isn't great. And the werewolf looks like he should be stealing picking up muskets. So why is it number four on my list? Two things. Gary Busey fighting a werewolf and this guy's Oscar-winning performance. I first saw Dog Soldiers when it premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel. My brothers and I were amazed at how much blood and guts were left uncensored. The Sci-Fi Channel was notorious for censoring out all the best bits of these type of movies. Damn you, FCC! The werewolves look awesome, and the human characters are just so damn likable. I'm usually the guy that roots for the monsters to win in movies, but not in this one. Jack! What? Where are we going? I don't know. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, cause- oh! Oh! You really scared me, you shithead. You gonna help me up or what? I first saw an American werewolf in London when I was four years old. And subsequently had recurring nightmares for years to come. But after plenty of therapy and electroshock treatments, I'm doing a whole lot better. Seriously though, this movie is amazing. The transformation scene was a landmark in special effects and makeup. And who was responsible for this, you ask? Why, it was none other than Rick Baker. The man is a genius. And at this point, I'm starting to suspect that he is a werewolf himself. How else could he pull off shit like this? <laughs> I cannot stress enough about how amazing Rick Baker's work is in this film. It earned him the first of seven Oscars he would eventually win throughout his career. That's enough to make your head spin. At this point, you probably knew that this was going to be my top pick. Although it wasn't the first werewolf film, it truly is the best. After reuniting with his estranged father, Lawrence Talbot is bitten by a werewolf and cursed. With the coming of the full moon, he turns into a monster and stalks the countryside. With makeup from the legendary Jack Pierce, Lon Chaney Jr. plays the part perfectly. Chaney brings such sadness to the role of Lawrence Talbot. After all, the werewolf story is a tragic one. The person who is cursed is just as much of a victim as the one he kills. They didn't ask for this, and unfortunately, death is the only way that they can be set free. To me, the best werewolf movies are the tragic ones. And sorry to spoil a movie that came out almost 80 years ago, but Larry is ultimately killed by his own father. was thorny, through no fault of your own. But as the rain enters the soil, the river enters the sea. So tears run to a predestined end. Your suffering is over. Now you will find peace for eternity. It's truly heartbreaking and still hits me after all these years. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments whether you agree, disagree, or think I'm full of shit. I already know I'm going to catch shit about putting the Wolfman remake over Curse of the Werewolf. I'm actually planning on doing in-depth reviews on most of the movies in this list, probably not Teen Wolf. Now it's your turn to let me know what your favorite werewolf movies are. Drop them in the comments below. This has been Big Al Holbrook with Feature from the Black Lagoon. See you next time.